Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're going to be talking about Aaron Donald. Uh, this was a question submitted by Blasphemous HDTVM. Uh, he basically requested an Aaron Donald video, and I think it's, it's due time to do an Aaron Donald video. Um, Aaron Donald is one of those prospects where I can, I can literally tell you the story. You know, I, I, was, I attended the Senior Bowl. I was covering the Senior Bowl. Uh, for the penalty flag blog at the time and while I was there uh, you know and, and here's the thing you have to understand about the senior bowl the senior bowl is pretty much where every head person you could think of goes you're, you're talking about head coaches uh, you know you you walk around and you just see famous people everywhere you know you, you see Mike Mayock uh, you see Daniel Jeremiah uh, you see, uh, you know, head coaches, you see even Bill Belichick walking around at the senior bowl, Bill Belichick in the flesh, you know, you see where he's just a couple feet away from you, um, at this event and they're all just talking, you know, most of you know, a lot, they're usually, they're not, um, watching the practice as much as, you know, networking and stuff like that. Some of them are watching the practice scouts that are there are definitely watching the practice, but I do know a lot of them, they're just kind of hanging out and you know stuff like just talking and stuff like that you know catching up with people um, which is fine I mean you know because you can always just watch the practice tape at the hotel uh, but this was one of those events where Aaron Donald was in the pitch rolls uh, the pitch rolls of course is where they put the offensive lineman versus the defensive lineman and pretty much every time the pit bulls the pit drills uh, start everybody heads over there uh, because you don't want to miss it you know um, it's very National Geographic level. Let's see these two massive dudes try to move each other and try to one up on each other. Like it's it's a very primal um, kind of drill. <laughs> is the best way to explain it. A lot of testosterone flying everywhere. And Aaron Donald was one of those players where uh, I, I, he was going up against. I believe it was the Baylor offensive lineman, um, and I forgot his name. But he went up against the Baylor offensive lineman, and Aaron Donald literally got underneath the Baylor offensive lineman's pads and flipped him over onto his back. And there was just a gasp from everybody. Like, it was just silence after that happened. And then everybody was just like, oh my gosh, what did, what just happened? It was one of those, like, did, did we just see that? You know, like, did, did we just what what did we witness you know it was one of those types of things and uh and yeah and that left a big uh impression on everybody at that senior bowl you know uh as soon as aaron donald did that i mean a lot of you know going into that going into that senior bowl um a lot of scouts and a lot of people i was talking to there were talking about aaron donald as a as a day one late day one maybe day two solidify like Maybe he'll solidify a day two status at the Senior Bowl. That was a lot of the talk I was hearing at the Senior Bowl there. Um, despite, you know, despite whatever you think, that that is what was being discussed prior to the Senior Bowl was him as just a day two pick. Uh, you know, this will solidify that and maybe late first round because of his height and his weight and stuff like that. But as soon as he did that in front of everybody, I mean, that is the power of the Senior Bowl. It's not about... You know, you think it's just a practice and it doesn't matter and all this other kind of stuff. I say, you're, you're, you've got to be kidding yourself. If you're going to a practice where you have NFL GMs attending it, you have NFL head coaches attending it, you have scouts that are attending this thing, and they witness you do something like that, take a 300-plus pound uh, offensive lineman and dump them on their back like it's nothing. I don't know what else to tell you about people saying that the Senior Bowl doesn't matter uh, when stuff like that happens. 
But to get back to Aaron Donald, so you know we're gonna do an analytics profile on him, uh, basically looking at what his production looked like in college, his athleticism data, and get into some of the things as why he's so successful because. I do think that there still was doubters even after the combine, even after all that stuff, there was a lot of doubters about him because of his size and stuff like that. But as you guys may or may not know, I typically don't care that much about size. I, I just look for, are they productive? Are they athletic? Because those are the two tenets. Those are the two uh, foundations that show the most success. Even if a defensive tackle is shorter than most, if he's productive and he's athletic, they still find a place in the NFL, and they're still very productive players in the NFL. And they still hit very high-quality outcomes uh, in the NFL, despite those so-called limitations. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to get into Aaron Donald based on all the information. Um, if there's any terms that I'm discussing today that you're not familiar with, just look to the description. I'm going to leave those in the description. Uh, and with all that kind of set up out of the way, uh, let's get into Aaron Donald in terms of what his profile looked like coming out. And, of course, what his NFL production looks like as well. So starting with Aaron Donald's uh, production out of college, uh, his market share production specifically, he had a 95.43 solo tackle market share production score, a 99.79 sack market share production score, and a 99.79 TFL market share production score. Uh, based on the minimum thresholds for all pro potential and pro bowl potential, Aaron Donald pretty much hit every single number indicative of a multiple all pro you know, pass rusher at the defensive tackle position, uh, uh, essentially. So uh, from the production standpoint, from just a pure production standpoint, he looked like a potential all-pro player just based on his market share production coming out of college. And then when you get to his athleticism data, he had an 83.82 explosive or body strength score, a 99.80 speed score, and a 99.19 flexibility score. And if you look at the thresholds again, from explosiveness, speed, the minimum thresholds for explosiveness, speed, flexibility testing. Uh, he pretty much hit every single number indicative of a multiple all-pro player uh, based on his athleticism data. So Aaron Donald coming out of college looked like a multiple all-pro type defensive tackle coming out of college based on his production and based on his athleticism data. And again, I understand that people get into this whole, well, the draft is a crapshoot and the draft is this and nobody knows what's going to happen. But when you have a player who hits every single number in terms of production, in terms of a high quality NFL player, and then on top of that, he hits every single number in terms of high quality athleticism numbers. And not only that, he had 99 plus percentile speed and flexibility for his size as a defensive tackle. I don't know what else to tell you. You know, um, it's pretty clear. <laughs> it's pretty clear that Aaron Donald is going to be pretty dang good uh, based on his athleticism coming out and his production coming out. Then we get into his actual uh, NFL data. So this is how he's performed in the NFL thus far. Um, MSA, PER, again, is solo tackle mark share. MSS, PER, sack mark share compared to peers. And MSPDPER is pass flexion mark share compared to peers. When you look at Aaron Donald, um, for the most part, um, he's had very good production across the board, especially when it comes to solo tackle and sack mark share, which are probably the two numbers that most teams care about the most is just a defensive tackle's ability to make plays away from the line of scrimmage is always helpful on top of a defensive tackle's ability obviously to to make sacks and that is the two things that he's been able to do at a very high level uh, throughout his career his pass flex mark share has not been the best though I mean that's the only real knock on him is that um, and maybe some of this has to do with his height and his length because he is not the most lengthiest defensive tackle ever um, so it is a little bit harder to kind of bat down passes when you're sh when you're fairly shorter than offensive linemen. Um, however, he did improve that in 2016. So um, I think the only real nitpick with him based on his NFL production is just based on his pass flex mark share not exactly being where it needs to be. And ultimately, when you look at his 19, uh, not 19, but 2016 season, um, Aaron Donald was by far the most impactful defensive tackle uh, in 2016 based on his overall market share data across the board with a 
uh, Marketeer production score, and this is based on every single defensive tackle performance since the 19, well not 19, but 2005 uh, NFL uh, season. Uh, so fairly above more than a 10-year sample size with Aaron Donald. Um, so he's been a very productive defense tackle, um, very high-end player. I, I think he continues to be a very high-impact player in the future, uh, just based on his athleticism and based on his um, other you know things in his profile. He just looks like a special player coming out based on his data. From my own experience, of seeing him in person at the Senior Bowl and doing things at the Senior Bowl that I've not seen before, especially in a very pressure-packed situation, you know, where you have, again, you have NFL head coaches and, like, scouts and offensive coordinators and all these people watching you and you perform like you perform in that type of environment, I think speaks volumes about the type of player that um, he ultimately is. Um, so I, I expect good things in the future for Aaron Donald, and uh, and yeah, I, I think that that's the basic thing from his profile is that you know when you have defensive tackles who hit every single number indicative of an All Pro player based on their, their production, every single number indicative of an All Pro player based on their athleticism data, and then you ask the question of you know NFL teams. It's a crapshoot. They don't know, you know, who knows what's going to go on. I, I I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> um, I'm not saying NFL draft evaluation is easy. I'm just saying that sometimes there's very obvious studs that don't get that don't get the credit that they deserve, you know. So, uh, but anyways, uh, you can find my other work at draftcorporate.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.